Hello everybody, good morning. Welcome to the module on Introduction to Non-Ovens. This is Dr. B.A. Murlidhar from the Department of Textile Technology, Anna University, Chennai. Uh, brief introduction about what a non-oven is. Uh, Non-ovens are unique engineered textiles manufactured by high speed and low cost processes which offer high effective solutions in healthcare, geotextiles, filters, etc. The manufacturing of non-ovens is based on the technologies of plastics, paper and textile manufacturing. As such, the properties and structure of the non-oven material resemble these three materials. To a common man, non-oven is something which is not a traditional woven material. It's a sheet of individual fibers bonded together with the, along the length. The application of non-ovens are vast. Some of the common products include interlinings, filters, disposable sanitary napkins, nappies, tampons, caps, gowns, masks, etc. used in the medical field, automotive upholsteries, agricultural coverings, wipes, bags, tags, etc. The basic learning objective of this module is that at the end of the session, you should be able to understand the difference between the non-oven and other textiles, understand the manufacturing process of the non-ovens, and know about the properties and its application. Now, some of the definitions which have been put forward by many of the organizations, generally non-oven can be defined as a textile structure made directly from the fibers in the form of a bat or a web or continuous filaments bonded using various techniques including mechanical interlocking by needling or fuel jets, adhesive bonding, thermal bonding and stitch bonding. As per the ASTM standards, a non-oven is defined as a textile structure produced by bonding of interlocking of fibers or both accomplished by mechanical, chemical, thermal or solvent means and combinations thereof. The term does not include fabric or paper which are knitted, tufted, woven or those made by wool or other felting process. Non-ovens are engineered structure sheets made by bonding and entangling fibers by means of chemical, mechanical or thermal process. This technology has interested many industries and researchers because it totally omits the yarn manufacturing process and its production are very high. Non-oven applications are mainly in the domain of technical textiles such as filtration, wipes, healthcare textiles, geotextiles, face masks, automotive textiles, surgical gowns, etc. The stages involved in the manufacture of non-ovens are schematically illustrated in figure 1. Basically constitute of the following stages. The first is the fiber preparation, then the web formation. There are different techniques in web formation such as the dry laid system using the cards or the air laid system. Then we have the wet laid system, then we have the polymer waste system where it could be spun bonding or melt bonding. After the formation of the design, the next stage is the web, bo web bonding and finishing process. Here you can see in the schematics the, the flow of the fiber preparation process for the short, fi short fibers, the polymer preparation process for the continuous filament filaments, then how the mm, fi prepared fiber goes into the formation of the web. It could be either dry laid or wet laid. Then the wet laid or dry laid material web has to be bonded together using the web bonding process. The web bonding process could be either by mechanical, chemical or the thermal process. Post the web bonding process, the non-own textiles has to go for the finishing process. Again, the finishing could be either mechanical or chemical. Similarly, for the continuous filaments, the polymer preparation process is there. Then the post polymer preparation, then you have to go through the web preparation process. Web preparation process could be either spun bonded or could be melt blown. Then the consolidation or the web bonding process happens which could be again through the mechanical, chemical or thermal process. Post this the non ovens again goes for the finishing and the finishing operation could be either mechanical or chemical. The fiber preparation process. Conventional natural staple fibers, man-made fibers and bicomponent fibers are mostly used in the preparation of carded non ovens. However, almost all type of fibers can be used to produce non ovens. The choice of fibers depends on the cost effectiveness and application. The fiber preparation for web formation include processing such as fiber opening, mixing and feeding to the card or air lay machines. During the web formation, many such card webs are stacked to form a web taking into account the required lengthwise and widthwise uniformity. Fiber mass distribution, fiber, fiber type, etc. 
the prepared web is stacked in three ways parallel lay process, cross lay process and the perpendicular lay process. Parallel lay process is also called as the longitudinal layering. So in this process the card web is preferentially oriented in carding machine direction, lengthwise orientation. Here more than one card are placed in tandem and the card webs are from, or from all the cards are laid one above the other on the conveyor belt. The web width is similar to the card web width and the number of web layers determines the number of continuous cards required. Continuous methods are mostly used in parallel lay process. Then the cross lay process and this is popular among the non-oven industries. The objective of cross ply is to obtain higher width, higher weight than that of the regular card web and to obtain a web with fibers oriented along the transverse direction. In this process, the cross lapper located inside the web beyond the card takes up the card web at a pre predefined rate and lays it over the conveyor belt in the crosswise direction. In the perpendicular lay process, it's a special layering process to obtain the fibers in the Z directional orientation. This technique has the advantage over both the parallel and the cross lay because of the perpendicular fibers. The bonded webs have higher resistance to compression and show better resiliency. Now let's go into detail about the how the web formation actually occurs. This is the web formation techniques in detail. non one textiles are built on a fibrous web and these features and physical properties are largely dependent on the method of web formation and on the web geometry. Web features are influenced by fiber length, fiber diameter, weight, web weight, the mechanical and the chemical properties of the polymer. Whereas the web geometry is predominantly influenced by fiber orientation, fiber direction, fiber shape, fiber entanglement, crimp and the number of fibers in the Z direction compaction. The dry laid non-ovens. In this method, the fibrous web is formed by conventional roller cards. The staple fibers from the veils are opened by mechanical or pneumatical means. The main objective of opening is to reduce the fiber tuft size. Further blending of fiber tufts from different bales also takes place in this process of opening and mixing. Then the open fibers are transported to the feed box by air to the card frame. In the carding process, small fiber tufts are further individualized and parallelized. The carding action holds the comb and combs the fibers causing fiber separation. These fibers are then condensed to form a lap or batting. Then the fibrous web is stopped from the cylinder and deposited on the moving belt. Aerodynamic web formation or it is also shortly called as air lay technique. The orientation created by carding is effectively improved by capturing fibers on a screen from an air stream. Randomization excludes any preferred orientation when the fibers are collected on the condensed screen. This web is then delivered to a conveyor for transporting to the bonding area. Air laying is suitable for fiber length in the range of 2 to 6 centimeters. Shorter fiber lengths allow for higher speed. Air laying is expensive and slower than carding. Some of the advantages of air laid webs, the isotropic web can be produced, voluminous or the bulky web can be produced, wide variety of synthetic and natural fibers can be used in an air laid technique. Some of the disadvantages of air laid technique are the possible fiber entanglement in the air stream, lower level of fiber opening. And the next technique is the random card, it is also called as a centrifugal dynamic web formation. In this method, the centrifugal dynamic random card forms the web by throwing off the fibers from the cylinder onto the doffer with centrifugal force. The production is higher than conventional cards, fiber orientation in the web is random and three dimensional. The cross sectional strength is better than machine direction with respect to the conventional card. The next technique is about the wet laid non-ovens. Around 10% of the non-ovens are made by this method, which is a modified paper making process. Its features are high production rates and the ability to blend a variety of fibers from paper making technology. However, stiffness brought about by using textile fibers in this technology has to be overcome to compete with other non-oven products. Stages in the manufacture of wet laid method, the first stage is the dispersion, swelling of the fibers in water and transporting of the, of the suspension 
on a continuous traveling screen, then followed by filtration and continuous web formation on the screen, which is again dried and bonded. Fiber suitability for the wet laid process depends on fiber fineness, fine fiber stiffness, crimp, wettability, and its ability to disperse in the aqueous medium. Dispersed and swollen fibers are continuously fed to the web laying machine. Often squeezing machines are used to dehydrate the web. The web is then compressed at the same time and subsequently bonded. Spun bond non-oven technology. It is a polymer laid non-oven. In this process, first the polymer, both the thermoplastic and non-thermoplastic fibers is extruded into filament and attenuated. After attenuation, the filaments are forwarded to the surface where the web is formed. This web is further bonded either thermally or chemically. The extruded spun filaments are collected on a belt. The collect collecting surface is perforated to prevent air stream from deflecting and carrying the fibers in an uncontrolled manner. Strength and integrity to the web is imparted on bonding. Spun bond and non ovens have superior strength and less flexibility. Under application of thermal energy, the polymers flow to the crossover point where bonding are formed. This bonding is fixed by subsequent cooling. The critical steps during bonding are heating the fibrous web to partially melt polymer crystalline region across fiber fiber interface and cooling of the web to solidify and trap the diffused fiber fiber crossover points. The spun bond process utilizes both thermoplastic and thermoset or non-thermoplastic blends containing carrier fibers and binder fibers. High molecular weight and broad molecular weight distribution polymers can be processed by spun bonding to produce uniform webs. Binder filament components normally range from 5 to 50 percent on the weight of the nano one. In thermal calendar bonding process, the fibrous web is passed through the nip of two rollers pressed against each other. The calendar roller may be embossed or flat depending on the type of bonding required like point bond, bonding, stick bonding, grid bonding or area bonding. Some of the properties of the spun bond technology as well as spun bond and non ones are. The spun bonded webs are manufactured in a wide range ranging from very light flexible structure to heavy and stiff structure. Their properties fall in between paper and woven fabrics. Spun bonded web possesses random fiber structure. They possess high strength to weight ratio compared to other non ovens. Their liquid retention capacity is high due to the high void content. They possess high in plane shear strength with low drapeability. Web thickness ranges between 0.1 to 4 mm are possible to produce using spun bonded technology. The spun bonded non ovens are characterized by tear strength, elongation to break, bursting strength, weight, thickness, and porosity. Some of the applications of spun bonded technologies are uh, non ovens are extensively used in automobile industry, such as uh, flow carpet, backing, uh, interiors, uh, and other, uh, other door panels, seat covers, etc., trims, trunk line. In automobile industry, it has been extensively used. Whereas in civil engineering, the market segment is the largest, it is the single largest consumer of approximately 25% of the total spun bonded materials produced are consumed by civil engineering applications, which include canal and reservoir lining protection, airfield and highways, blacktop cracking prevention, railroad bed stabilization, soil erosion control, roofing, etc. In medical application, many traditional med materials have been replaced by high performance spun bonded webs. This includes sterilizable packaging, operating room gowns, shoe covers, etc. Sanitary wear, spun bonded webs because of their unique structure is used as a cover stock for baby diapers, incontinence pads and tampons which help the skin to stay dry and comfortable and absorb the moisture. Packaging industry, spun bonded webs are used as packaging materials where paper and plastics are not satisfactorily like metal core wraps, high performance envelopes, stationaries, medical sterile packages, etc. Now, the next uh, technology is the melt blown technology, also a polymer laid non oven. In this process, the thermoplastic polymer is extruded through dye and the web is directly formed from the molten polymer. Molten polymer and hot air are blown into the free air 
the mixing of the fiber and high speed air with the ambient air creates form drag movement forward and backward melt blown fibers typically do not have regular diameters the blown webs are consolidated by the combination of cohesive sticking and entanglement most widely used polymers are polypropylene polyester polyamide and polyethylene key parameters influencing melt blown technologies are the melt temperature of po the polymer throughput rate air pressure and die to collector distance the distance between the die and the collector application of melt blown non ovens include gradient filtration due to the fiber small diameter and large surface area good wicking and barrier properties disposable properties disposable products surgical masks etc spun bonded and melt blown technology capital investment on spun bonded cap technology is higher than melt blown technology melt blown technologies require fiber forming polymers with lower melt viscosity unlike spun bonded technology melt blown technologies consume more energy than spun bonded technology the web drafting the purpose of web drafting is to reorient the web fibers in the direction of the draft to improve the web quality at times heavier webs are manufactured during layering which are made finer during drafting while drafting care should be taken to prevent width wise shrinkage of the web so just to conclude as to what we have done as in this module we have just gone through as to the first two stages of the non oven technology that is the what are the different fibers which could be used within the manufacture of non ovens both synthetic natural it could be bicomponent all these materials could be used as a uh, starting material for non oven technology non oven fibers then we have seen the different uh, techniques of laying the fibers together and then in the next module we will continue with the how the web consolidation process will take place